For the application shown in this video, you will need to obtain the following items to build your pressure vessel and filter jet solvent dispenser setup. Select one pressure vessel type that is best suited for your application. For proper pressure vessel function, you will also need to acquire either the pressure vessel accessory kit or at a minimum, a pressure relief valve and gauge. You will also need the filter jet solvent dispenser. Your pressure vessel and filter jet solvent dispenser can be utilized for a variety of applications. For the purposes of this video, we will be assembling the components necessary for the rinsing and particle counting of machine parts. For this function, you will also need to acquire a standard high output pump and additional PVC tubing with a 9.5 millimeter internal diameter. In this video, we have labeled the components of the pressure vessel filter jet setup for quick reference based on the table below. Additional information on replacement parts and components can be found on milliporesigma.com. This is a 5 liter dispensing pressure vessel, which is also available in 10 or 20 liter sizes. From the accessory kit, component G is the pressure gauge, which measures the vessel's internal pressure. Component F is the safety relief valve, which releases pressure automatically when the vessel is overpressured. Component H is the hex nipple, which acts as an adapter for varying sized connectors. It attaches to component I, the ball valve, which connects to component J, the optional quick disconnect nipple, which detaches as follows. The setup also requires additional PVC tubing with a 9.5 millimeter internal diameter qualified up to 50 PSI, as well as a standard high output pump capable of positive pressure. You will also need standard PTFE tape for wrapping each of your components to ensure an airtight seal. This tape should be applied to the threads of each male fitting, securely wrapping the fixture two or three times prior to screwing them into place. Component K, also from the accessory kit, is a hose connector, which facilitates the connection of a variety of accessories to the vessel via PVC tubing. First, Component K will attach to Component J, the quick disconnect nipple. Then the accessory kit assembly can be attached to the pressure vessel via the street elbow. While we can be seen hand tightening these components for demonstration purposes, please be sure to wrench tighten your pressure kit assembly for pressurized applications. For this setup, we have employed two of the accessory kits, including two hex nipples and two ball valves for full operational control. The hex nipples of each attach directly to the street elbows included with your pressure vessel. Next, attach the pressure gauge included in your accessory kit. While the pressure vessel is rated up to 100 PSI, the filter jet is only rated to 50 PSI. Therefore, please do not exceed 50 PSI while using this assembly. Finally, attach the pressure release valve also included in your accessory kit as shown previously. Component L is the filter jet handle and valve assembly used to release solvent or rinse solution. Component M, the 25 millimeter filter holder, allows for inline pressure filtering of liquids. The jet nozzle, component N, directs spray from the dispenser to the surface to be cleaned. There are a variety of nozzle types to choose from. This is a steady stream jet nozzle. Select your filter based on the filter pore size with respect to particle size as well as chemical compatibility. The locking nut closure allows the filter to be changed without disconnecting the holder from the plumbing system. Photo-etch screens are held in place with a small O-ring, which must be removed to insert a filter. These identical screens support the filter in both directions of flow, preventing filter damage if back pressure or reverse flow surges occur in the line. With the accessory Teflon-coated support screens, the holder can be autoclaved with a filter installed. 
Remove a filter from the packaging using non-damaging forceps. Center the filter on the lower screen. Replace the top screen and the O-ring before reassembling the locking nut closure. Connect the high-pressure tubing from your high-output vacuum pump to component K, the hose connector. Please be sure to securely wrench tighten all connections leading from your pressure vessel to your high-output pump. Take the pressure tubing leading from your filter jet solvent dispenser and securely connect it to the ball valve leading to your pressure vessel as shown here. Carefully pour the appropriate solvent as dictated by your method into the pressure vessel. Replace the lid by inserting it into the pressure vessel cavity, positioning it in place at the opening and securing the cam lock into place. You are now ready to rinse your parts. First, adjust the pressure to 50 PSI using the hand wheel knob in front of the gauge. Open the ball valve leading from the high output vacuum pump in order to pressurize the vessel. Use the trigger on the filter jet to direct spray to the desired target. Since the making of this video, we have introduced our frustration-free packaging for our membrane disc filters. The cases are easy to open and close and are clearly labeled individually on the lid.